Pauline Hanson is being taken to court by the Green Senator Marine Faruqi for hurt feelings. Well, officially, according to Faruqi, she's taking Hanson to court under Section 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act for racial discrimination caused by, quote, an insulting and humiliating tweet. Yeah, Faruqi claims Senator Hanson violated the Hurt Feelings Act when she tweeted last year that she should, quote, pack your bags and piss off back to Pakistan, end quote. The SBS reported that Faruqi's lawyers alleged the tweet did offend, insult, humiliate and intimidate Senator Faruqi and other people who share attributes with her, adding that it was done because of the colour, race or national or ethnic origin of the applicant and some of the people in the group, end quote. Well, I'm not sure if those attributes included the repeated distasteful conduct of Faruqi herself, who seems to spot everywhere, racism everywhere, except where it's most noticeable. She sees racism if you don't support the religion of Islam, even though religion is not a race. And there was no racism, of course, when her former fellow green extremist Lydia Thorpe told Hanson to go back to where she came from. And of course, there's no racism when green crier in chief Senator Hanson Young talks about old white men or the white patriarchy. Nah, -uh. for greens like Faruqi, racism is a pick and choose process. And so apparently is being a victim of hurt feelings. I mean, none of the vile and awful things that this useless bunch of crossbenchers say about others is actually or can actually be offensive to others. Instead, it's supposedly only their feelings that matter. Well, frankly, this action by Faruqi is everything that's wrong with Section 18C. It should go because it's become effectively a subjective test about how someone feels when confronted with a point of view that they just don't like. We've seen lives damaged or ruined already as a result of the lawfare sparked by hurt feelings. And it's bad enough when it's used against students, like in the Queensland University case over the kids who wanted to go into an Aboriginal-only lab. But now we've got senators, they're using it to silence their opponents. We've actually entered a frightening new political realm. Now, the author of that so-called mean tweet, Pauline Hanson, joins me now. Senator... Before we get on to the other news, is there anything you can say about your right to respond appropriately to what you saw as poor behaviour in others? And I ask that because this is now potentially the subject of legal action. You're right, Corey. I don't want to give, um, give her or her lawyers any more ammunition to hold against me. You know, an hour ago, I just watched Barry Humphreys and uh, the tribute that was put, um, put to air about him a week ago by Sky. You know, it was a time when you could have a laugh with other people. They didn't take offence by it. It was in Australia that you felt free, that you could have freedom of speech, you could have a joke with each other. And every day I say to myself, what's happened to my country? You know, why are people so easily offended that, um, you know, certain people are pushing their own ideologies and other ones were shut down with having no say or freedom of speech and everyone feels so precious, they're the victims, they're, they're offended by this. Corey, I do intend to fight it and I will. You know, Tony Abbott, Malcolm Turnbull, Scott Morrison and the Coalition Government had the opportunity to actually get rid of 18C and they didn't do anything about it. Now it's up to me that I will defend this and hopefully through the court system to have it, you know, thrown out because that's where it belongs, thrown out. People have a right to freedom of speech, have an opinion. Criticism is not racism. And, you know, every day I feel offended when I actually hear, welcome to country. Many things that I find very offensive. But, you know, you can't say it because I'm white. Our country's changed so much. And I, I, I want to take this opportunity, the party set up a, a, a fund uh, for me to fight this case. And I appreciate those people who have helped so far to actually fund this case. Because on behalf of the people of this nation, I have to fight this. I will fight it. Because it's about our democracy, our freedom of speech and our rights. And I won't let these people walk over the top of me or any other Australian. And um, this is what the country is about, and you know I'll, I will defend it. Good on you, Pauline Hanson. I mean, it's long been my view that freedom of speech, and there's plenty out there that I say that upsets others, and there's plenty that they say that upset me. But freedom of speech is the building block of democracy, and without it, we are worse off than than you know some of these so-called dictatorships around the world.